China has officially launched the world's most aggressive push into consumer robotics with the unveiling of its first fully autonomous AI robot store in Shanghai, where humanoid androids like the groundbreaking Oli Humanoid are not just on display but actively demonstrating capabilities that leapfrog competitors like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics Atlas. This isn't a laboratory experiment or controlled demo but a functioning retail space staffed entirely by AI robots that greet customers, explain product features, and even handle complex transactions through integrated payment systems, signaling a seismic shift in how robotics will permeate daily life. The star of this revolution is Ollie, a 5-8 inches humanoid with micro-expressive facial rendering so advanced it can simulate subtle eye movements and lip synchronization that make interactions eerily natural. Equipped with multimodal perception combining LiDAR, thermal imaging, and 3D depth sensors that allow it to navigate crowded spaces while identifying individual human emotions through micro gestures and vocal tone analysis. Capabilities demonstrated when Ollie paused a sales pitch to ask a visibly stressed customer if they needed directions to the store's rest area, showcasing situational awareness previously unseen in consumer robotics. Behind the scenes, a swarm intelligence network connects all store robots, enabling real-time learning where one unit's experience instantly improves the entire fleet's performance. A system already achieving 94% accuracy in predicting customer inquiries before they're voiced based on body language and browsing patterns. But China's robotic ambitions extend far beyond retail. Factories across Guangdong province are now deploying Phoenix-class industrial humanoids that combine the precision of traditional assembly line machines with the adaptability of human workers, capable of switching between welding, quality inspection and logistics tasks within minutes. Through hot swappable end effector attachments and AI-driven process optimization, these robots leverage Xiaomo 3 neural chips specifically designed for real-time motor control allowing movements with 0.02 mm precision while consuming 60% less power than previous generations, making them economically viable replacements for human labor in electronics manufacturing. The true game-changer, however, is their self-repair capability. Using integrated 3D printers and a library of CAD models, they can fabricate replacement parts for minor mechanical failures without human intervention, a feature that reduces downtime by 80%, according to preliminary factory trials. The domestic front is equally transformative with the launch of HomeMind Robotics Butler Series, affordable, $3,999, humanoids that handle cooking, cleaning and elder care through proprietary haptic learning algorithms. Unlike pre-programmed vacuum robots, these units can learn family routines by observing human actions for 72 hours, then replicate tasks like folding laundry, or preparing tea with contextual adjustments, for example, remembering one household member prefers weaker tea steeping. Early adopters report the robots mastering complex appliance interfaces like rice cookers and air fryers simply by watching YouTube tutorials, a frightening glimpse into few-shot imitation learning capabilities that were academic theory just two years ago. China's education ministry has further accelerated adoption by subsidizing EduBot deployments in 40,000 schools. These child-sized androids teach STEM subjects through adaptive Socratic dialogue, correcting homework in real time using generative AI that tailors explanations to each student's comprehension level, while embedded EEG sensors in the robot's palms detect frustration or confusion during math drills and modify teaching strategies accordingly. Military applications are advancing even more rapidly with PLA's Steel Sentry program field-testing quadrupedal combat robots armed with non-lethal deterrent systems and autonomous threat assessment modules that can distinguish between armed combatants and civilians in urban warfare simulations. Leaked specifications reveal these units utilize quantum dot-enhanced night vision with 800-meter effective range and swarm coordination algorithms, allowing 20 robots to execute complex flanking maneuvers without radio communication, instead relying on ultrasonic mesh networking that's immune to conventional jamming. Perhaps most unsettling are demonstrations of their adaptive camouflage, using flexible e-ink panels to mimic surroundings like high-tech chameleons, a feature repurposed from civilian robotics research at Zhejiang University.
This explosion of robotic innovation stems from China's National AI Development Plan 2030, which has funneled $150 billion into robotics R&D while creating special economic zones where companies test autonomous systems in real cities with relaxed regulations. The strategy has yielded shocking results. Over 480,000 service robots were deployed in 2023 alone across restaurants, hospitals and logistics, with docking robotic ambulances now operating in Shenzhen that can perform emergency tracheotomies guided by remote doctors via 6G networks. Social normalization is being aggressively pursued through state media campaigns featuring robot nannies reading bedtime stories and AI companions for lonely elders softening cultural resistance to mechanical caretakers. Critically, China's approach differs from Western robotics by prioritizing immediate commercial viability over pure research. The Oli humanoid retails for $28,000, one-sixth the projected cost of Tesla's Optimus, due to vertically integrated supply chains that locally produce everything from harmonic drives to neural processors. This cost advantage is enabling frighteningly rapid scaling, Galactic Robotics plans to open 300 AI robot stores nationwide by 2025, while Cloudminds is licensing its robot operating system to appliance manufacturers, meaning soon even refrigerators and air conditioners may come with embedded humanoid interfaces. The psychological impact is palpable. In Shanghai's robot-staffed Future Cafe, patrons now instinctively thank machines after receiving orders, a small but telling sign of shifting human-machine relationships. Ethical concerns abound as reports emerge of robot addiction in children who prefer AI nannies to human interaction, and labor unions warn of ghost factories where overnight shifts operate entirely without human oversight. The most disturbing development may be Project Mirror, a classified initiative building humanoid surrogates that can perfectly mimic specific individuals' speech patterns and mannerisms using just three hours of video footage, allegedly for entertainment and memorial purposes, but with obvious dual-use potential. As Western governments scramble to respond to China's robotic dominance, the deeper question looms. When humanoid robots become cheaper than human workers and more reliable than human caregivers, what happens to societies unprepared for their pervasive presence? The AI robot invasion isn't coming. It's already here, and its shock troops are being manufactured at a scale and speed the world has never witnessed.